everyone, Jennifer here. Today I'm going to do a pregnancy chat video with you. And for those of you who don't know, I am currently pregnant with our fourth child. And as I'm shooting this video, I'm about 19 weeks pregnant. So by the time you see this video, I might be further along. I might be 20, 21, 22 weeks. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to post this. But as I'm shooting this, I'm about 19 weeks pregnant. And I'll show you here. So I had many people request, um, you know, a pregnancy video where we sort of talk about various things. And in this video, we're going to be talking about skincare, what I'm drinking, um, clothing, sleep, fatigue, and exercise, and all of those sorts of things. And of course, we can do a follow-up video. Maybe we could even do a live chat if you have other questions or just topics that you feel like discussing. Let's start off with skincare. Now, for many pregnant women, the concern during this time is, are the products that I'm using safe uh, during pregnancy? And it's certainly something that I feel neurotic about as well. So <laughs> I'm always Googling ingredients and seeing if the things that I'm using are safe. Recently did um, a few natural skincare reviews, one for Nudu uh, Natural Skincare, which by the way, they've changed their name to Pelu. I'll have their information below as well uh, for those of you who are not pregnant. And um, they have a wonderful natural skincare line. I've also done a natural um, SPF skincare line by My Shell. And today I have a skincare review for you specifically for pregnant ladies. So I was so excited to try this. Um, I was loving the New Do, or it's now called Pelu skincare line. And I wanted to find something that was specific for pregnant women that I could 100% with confidence recommend to pregnant women. So I'm very excited to share Belly Beauty with you. And many of you might already know about this brand, but this is a brand for pregnancy. Um, it is OBGYN approved and dermatologist approved, safe during pregnancy. So I just, I love that comfort where I'm thinking, okay, you know, could be sometimes um, skincare or other things will have natural ingredients for it that aren't actually compatible with pregnancy. So this whole line is, and I, Love it, I love it. I've been trying it now for the past uh, month or so. So you know I like to try things out for at least two, three, four weeks before I share it with you. So that is what I've been doing here. They sent me four things that I have been trying. And the first one is um, this prep. And this is actually an exfoliating scrub and I love it. It smells like peppermint. It has um, green tea, ginseng, and peppermint oil in it. And so what you do is you you know, prep your skin by rubbing it in and it just feels so good. So I've been using this uh, two to three times a week. You don't do it every day. And then every uh, day you can use the cleanser. Now you know my skin care tip is that I only cleanse my skin at night. I do not do it in the morning. So I use the cleanser um, at night after I prep. If I'm not prepping, I just simply go straight to the cleanser. And yes, I always wipe off my makeup with a makeup removing cloth. That's always my first step. And so this is great. It has lactic acid, green tea, and cucumber in it. And all of this is safe for pregnancy. So it says, belly is picky for a purpose to give you peace of mind. Our products are allergy tested, free of artificial dyes or fragrances, phthalates, and paraben preservatives. So it's just totally safe for pregnancy. And like I said, it's OBGYN and dermatologist recommended. And so the moisturizer that I have here is the Healthy Glow Facial Hydrator, which moisturizes and illuminates. And it has vitamin C, grapeseed, and chamomile. And I love this. It doesn't feel rich. In fact, sometimes when I'm putting on, I'm thinking, should I put on a moisturizer in addition to this? But it really does, I don't know. I've had such good skin during this pregnancy. Uh, it just brings out uh, the glow and even my sister the other day didn't tell her I was using anything special She said your skin is really glowing <laughs> So I think it really does work and then they have this acne control spot treatment Which is nice because during this time of your life you tend to have hormonal breakouts and I have actually had a few I put this on and it's natural. So anyway, I found this I love that they're very generous sizes So it's 6.5 fluid ounces um, for the scrub and the cleanser so it's going to last the whole pregnancy, I'm sure, and I feel safe about using it. So this is a great um, line to recommend for pregnant women. I have to apologize because my family, they're swimming outside and they're so loud. <laughs> You're gonna hear them coming in and out and I'm sorry, just this is the only time I can shoot the video. Okay, so where was I? Belly, 
beauty. I can totally recommend them for a very safe skincare line. I also have the other natural skincare lines I've been reviewing. I'll link all of those below as well. If you're not pregnant, check those out. They're great. What have I been drinking during the pregnancy? Obviously the number one drink that you should be drinking is water. So I've been trying to drink much more water than I normally do. Something I'm working on anyway, I need to drink more water. So I have been, um, you know, trying to drink a lot of water even when I don't feel like it, just to stay hydrated throughout the day. In my first trimester, I had a strong aversion to coffee. I did not want coffee, which is strange for me because I love a cup of coffee in the morning. So, you know, even the smell just made me feel ill. I didn't want it at all. Now that I'm in my second trimester, I am loving an iced coffee every morning. So I have been having an iced coffee every morning and I only have one, I allow myself one and it's not even that much. I try to have a small one because I know that the caffeine is not that good. So when I feel like having a coffee, let's say later in the afternoon or um, maybe I just wanna skip a coffee but I just want that taste, I've been going with Ticino and I have recommended this brand before. I'll leave my old review of this brand um, below. I did one a few years ago, I think. But Ticino is an herbal coffee alternative and um, this is great for anybody who um, can't drink coffee for whatever reason or loves the taste but does not want the caffeine. And so um, it's made with organic herbs and my favorite flavor is the vanilla nut. So it's creamy vanilla with almonds, dates, and figs. And honestly, it tastes like coffee. It's just crazy. <laughs> it really does taste like coffee. Uh, so it's 100% naturally caffeine-free. Gives you a natural energy boost. Uh, it's acid-free, heart-healthy potassium, and it has inulin, which is a prebiotic soluble fiber that feeds your gut flora to improve digestion, elimination, and support the immune system. So it's quite healthy uh, drink alternative to coffee. So I have been drinking Ticino. Now, before we move on here, if you are pregnant, please, before you drink this, ask your doctor if it's okay if you drink this. Because there are some people, even when I posted my last review, um, that said, because this does uh, contain carob, barley, and chicory, among other things. Um, some people have said that chicory, I think in particular, is not safe in pregnancy, that it could cause contractions. I've had this with my other pregnancies. I didn't have problems with it, but I don't wanna recommend it here wholeheartedly. You must ask your doctor first, okay? So um, I wouldn't drink a lot of this. I think that one cup is harmless. And Ticino, on their own website, they say that it's safe for pregnant women. So they do have that in their Q&A. Uh, but before you do, please ask your doctor if it's okay if you drink this, um, because you know you just need their advice. So, uh, but it's delicious. I like to have some with almond milk, sometimes a little bit of sweetener. It's so good. So that's what I've been drinking. Also, really quickly, the way that you brew this is like a tea bag. So they come in tea bags. You could also brew it in a coffee maker. Um, but I like to use the tea bags because I'm the only person who drinks it. So I don't want to make a big pot of this. So I just, you know, put a tea bag and put some boiling water over it and let it steep for a few minutes. It's great. I also wanted to ask your advice because something else that I like to drink is the Tevana. Um, is it the passion tea? Passion tango tea? I love that as an iced tea. But I, I've heard mixed things about whether or not you can drink it during pregnancy. So if anybody knows, if there's any doctors who are watching this video, if you could tell me if that's okay or not, yay or nay, please let me know in the comment section below. Okay, I'm going to consult my notes here so I don't forget anything. Let's talk about clothes. Now I will be doing my 10 item wardrobe uh, maternity video shortly, so I'm not going to get too into it. Um, but the majority of my dresses, of my returning maternity dresses are from Seraphine, and Seraphine is a really high quality brand. I found out about them because the Duchess of Cambridge uh, wears their dresses when she's pregnant. So I found them and I thought, these are just flattering, they're ladylike, I love them. And so you'll remember from my past pregnancy, I had about four of those dresses for spring and they're all returning. Thankfully I saved them and they're returning um, for this pregnancy as well. Uh, of course, I need more than just four dresses. So I have supplemented the rest of my maternity wardrobe with 
you guessed it, Zoo Lily. <laughs> And Zoo Lily have wonderful maternity selection at an affordable price. And I love the pieces that I've gotten uh, from them and they're affordable. So um, I will be doing a separate video all about, all about that, but I will leave uh, links below. You should definitely check out Zoo Lily. Um, if you are pregnant, it's just a great resource. They have a whole category for pregnant and nursing women. And so if you just need something, a filler item, just a summer dress that's billowy and, and isn't a hundred dollars, you know? It's really good, a great resource to check out. So I'll leave that down below. Let's talk about fatigue and sleep. So um, I am fortunate in my pregnancies that I do not experience morning sickness. So I do get a little bit of nausea, but it doesn't go so far as turning into morning sickness, which I'm very grateful for. I don't know how women function, especially when they have other children to look after when they have morning sickness. So I really feel for you on that. If you have any tips for that, by the way, if you suffered from that and have tips, please leave them below because I know it helps other women. Uh, but the, the main side effect I have from my pregnancies is extreme fatigue. And of course it's the, the worst in the first trimester, just extreme where I don't want to do anything. I cannot get off the sofa, which for me is extremely unusual. <laughs> you know, I'm the type of person who is just go, 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 go from five in the morning till 11 o'clock at night. And I am just zipping around and doing things, you know? So for me to feel tired like that is just, you know, I'm out of my element. Um, but I think almost every pregnant woman experiences extreme fatigue. So, you know, that's just your body telling you, you need to rest, okay? There's a lot going on and you need to rest. And so just take that rest. You are going to have to let things go. You know, you're gonna have to lower your standards and you know, things won't get done like they normally uh, are. Allow your family to help you, delegate, have people help you when you're in that fatigue. Normally when you step into the second trimester, you get your energy back. And that is the case with me. I've got a lot of energy lately. So um, for this pregnancy, I was working on the book deadline as well. And uh, I turned my manuscript in recently. So I was just dealing with a lot on my plate. I had that deadline and I was pregnant, so I was exhausted already. And so things went by the wayside. The house kind of went by the wayside and organization and all of that. But I'm just now catching up with it. And just allow yourself that time. Just, you know, it's okay. Everything doesn't have to be done as you like it perfectly as normal because this is not a normal season of your life. So dealing with fatigue is something, you know, that I, that I struggle with uh, in pregnancy. I feel good now. I know that in the third trimester, the fatigue will return. <laughs> and I'll probably be really hot too because it's going to be the middle of summer uh, when I'm in my third trimester. Okay, and the final thing I wanted to talk about was exercise. So, you know me and I love my rebounder. I love my rebounder and I have been rebounding. Um, not as much as I do when I'm not pregnant. And when I'm not pregnant, I go on the rebounder every single day, several times a day because I love it so much. And I will link my rebounder below. I use um, the specific one that I love. So I'll link it below. Um, so I have been, but I know that as I get bigger, I'm not going to feel comfortable bouncing up and down on the rebounder. So that's gonna have to go on hold and I'm going to miss it <laughs> until I can come back to it after the birth. But in the meantime, I have just been doing gentle walking and I have been cleaning my house. So I do that anyway, but I'm looking at that as exercise now. <laughs> um, so, but the gentle walking, that's been a big thing. And oftentimes I don't feel like it because I feel uncomfortable or I feel tired or cramped or out of breath, but I try to go on a walk almost every single day. And that is how I have been exercising. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to hit those few points and share those recommendations with you. Um, I would love to know your thoughts on all of this. All of our mothers out there who have experienced pregnancy or are going through it right now, first time moms, seasoned moms, I wanna hear from you. Let me know your advice. What do you love to um, drink during pregnancy? How do you deal with fatigue and morning sickness? What do you like to wear? Um, all of that. And your comment could be chosen as comment of the week on The Daily Connoisseur. If you would like for me to do a live chat on pregnancy, please let me know in the comment section below. If there's enough people who would like it, I will do it. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you soon. Bye.